Hey everyone, this is Anjali Ong from Calvinair.com and the man beside me right now is from SBO Bet, Mr. William Mamari. Sir, welcome to Calvinair.com. Thank you. Well, what does SBO Bet or what can SBO Bet do legally for the sponsorship or football sponsorship in China? Oh, I think at this moment in time, whilst uh, the landscape is changing and developing, uh, at this moment in time there really isn't the opportunity to directly sponsor within the People's Republic. With the top tier teams signing for really large companies or global companies, do you think that the sports betting um, companies are getting priced out with the premier sheet? No, it's not a question of getting priced out. It's regulatory flux and change that's creating the barriers, not the, not the pricing. I think that the remote gambling industry, certainly if one takes the, the English Premier League product as being um, when I say a pinnacle, not necessarily the best football played in the world, but certainly in relation to an Asian audience, the key benefit of the, of the product is it is trusted. Um, so the iGaming sector actually led the march in terms of growth of sponsorship, both direct sponsorship of the club and the shirts, but also um, more significantly, the increase in the digital advertising around the pitch. One only has to look today, out of a 90-minute game, I would suggest that probably 35 minutes of that is dedicated to one or other brands in, in the remote gambling sector. Can we talk about the increased importance of brand ambassadors? Uh, yes, they absolutely uh, have a place. I think, as I said this morning uh, in the session, um, their effectiveness for a particular brand is a combination of where that brand is in terms of the, the maturity of the brand, uh, the unaided recall of the brand, the understanding of the brand values. Um, uh, if one's already a good way up that curve, then the relevance of the brand ambassador role tends to decrease a little. At the same time, historically the brand ambassador has not been able to create the call to action, but increasingly combining the brand ambassador role with uh, social media uh, as part of that arrangement, then that can create the call to action. What are some other sponsorship opportunities can operators look for? Um, well, of course they can look outside of soccer as a product, but the reality is that soccer is probably 85 to 90 percent of the market and one can look at other parts of the world. Uh, it's not necessarily UK centric other than, as I say, the trust in the product and the global television broadcast footprint. One would have to match those characteristics in another league, in another country to achieve the same result. Thank you so much, Mr. Mummery, again. Thank you guys for watching. This is Anjali Ong for CalvinAir.com.